Today, Africa is known for hosting some of the world's most dangerous creatures, lions, crocodiles, and hippos. Surprisingly, there are no bears on the continent today. Millions of years ago, however, this wasn't the case. Back then, bears ruled the land, and one species, in particular, stood at the top, Agriotherium africanum. This was no ordinary bear. It was an apex predator that dominated Africa's ancient wilderness with raw power and remarkable adaptability. Imagine a bear that could grow to two meters or seven feet in length and weigh up to 750 kilograms or 1,650 pounds, rivaling even the largest polar bears of today. Size wasn't this bear's only strength. Its most deadly weapon was its bite. Among all the bears that ever roamed Earth during their 23 million year history, none had a stronger bite than Agriotherium africanum. Studies show that this ancient giant could produce a bite force of over 4,500 newtons. This immense strength leads us to wonder, why did this bear evolve such powerful jaws? The skull of Agriotherium was built for a devastating bite. With a broad, deep structure, it was designed to handle the stress of overpowering large, struggling prey. That same structure could also have been used to tear apart carcasses or crush tough plants. Some scientists suggest Agriotherium, like other giant bears, was an omnivore often feeding on carrion rather than hunting large prey. Armed with teeth capable of ripping through flesh, Agriotherium's canines were made for destruction, while its molars allowed it to adapt to different food sources. This made it an adaptable and fearsome predator, capable of hunting prey like juvenile elephants, stegodonts, hippos, and rhinos. It also didn't shy away from scavenging frequently taking meals from smaller carnivores. While earlier theories depicted it as a slow-moving ambush predator with weak limbs, recent findings suggest a more complex picture. Agriotherium was likely a clever and opportunistic hunter, taking advantage of slower prey and using cover for stealthy ambushes. This genus endured for more than 9 million years, from around 11.6 to 2.5 million years ago.